Hey, y'all. Hey, let's get into this intuitive reading, this intuitive message, this guided reading, guided message for Keisha Anderson. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself if you're new here. Welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, friend. Okay. All right. Spirit said that there's an energy of her having some form of anxiety, um, deep breathing, like heavy in the chest, energy, <sighs> panting even. Spirit is acknowledging it's behind all the solar plexus energy that she chose as passionate romance. There is a water sign attached to this and or could just be emotional, but she's standing um, tall, trying to be a pillar and a, a strong post to her own detriment. I mean, it is thank you spirit it is ruining you essentially spirit is just like it is ruining you not my business not my problem and spirit said she, she needs to look at the bigger picture she needs to uh, focus on inner calm because she is frazzled right now there's also this energy of focusing on well-being patience deep breathing the bigger picture spirit is acknowledging that she is dealing with the one horse town there's this obstacle that she can easily maneuver and return to her peace and her purpose and her strength but she chooses to stay on this side of the fence because she believes that the grass is greener it does affect the heart chakra it does affect the heart chakra boredom monotony small mindedness branch out move on novelty is needed but she won't branch out and move on because cats have nine lives she's going to try to do something over and over and over and over again until she sees the breakthrough that she wants this is her thought this is her belief until she gets the reward that she wants this this energy what feels like success wishes granted receptivity and faith with there's more than one way to skin a cat if that don't work i'll try this if that don't work i'll try this um in doing so and spirit is acknowledging that she's into it she's into the brouhaha she's hiding behind all of her choices because intuitively she knows that this is not right and it's a very jumbled piece in the back like this is a lot of moving pieces but it's very 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 jumbled and juggling it just feels like it's very hard to keep all of this going if i'm hearing trick and pony if that makes sense to you it makes sense to me guilt remorse nerves worry confession coming clean apology and integrity is needed now, there's something that she's trying to put off, and it could be this seeing oneself, like taking accountability and responsibility, acknowledging that um, there's an energy of coming clean and an apology because she's putting it off. Um, and so, so spirit is also acknowledging that she's trying to get away from it, um, could be going on a trip or could be going away, but trying to get away from it because there's very little um, energy that she has very little power that she has in it i do see water in the background so this could be in relationship to a water sign and or could just be emotional but she, there's this energy of what's the rush inspired action only trust relax and allow the flow like i'll deal with it when i deal with it because her focus right now is adding a layer to the cake her focus right now is focusing on accomplishment triumph um increasing her self-esteem increasing her confidence focusing on her talents and um, acc accolades excuse me and fame and spirit said this energy is going to have you with egg on your face this energy is going to ruin you sending her love and light spirit is acknowledging believe it trustworthiness watch for the signs intuition lucidity the real deal if that ain't truth grits and grocery spirit is also acknowledging that she's pointing fingers but fingers are being pointed back at her there's a lot of emotion here aren't you precious suffering fool disdain displeasure content poking fun and read between the lines remember spirit universe god source reads straight lines not in between them spirit said you should have walked away from that relationship a long time ago focusing on self-strength self-respect knowing your worth refusal that's your business, not mine, okay? All right. Keisha Anderson, current energy. What the ancestors want to tell her moving in love and light? Thank you. We do got the get, excuse, the root of air in reverse. Explore is in reverse. 33 is significant. Your energy is unfocused and disorganized. You are all talk, but not really moving forward with anything. Okay. Keisha Anderson, current energy. Relationship. There's a heart attack. It keeps talking about the chest. But there's something that's getting ready to happen. It's going to be like, oh my God. 
when I see full moons, this allows me to just interpret that there is something going on. There is something that is hidden that is going to come to the surface. What you do in the dark comes to the light. This also has to do with manifestation and or a pregnancy heart attack. Okay. Um, Spirit is also acknowledging that there's been some rigged games. There's been some things that you've been keeping quiet or someone is trying to keep quiet that is going to make you feel like <gasps> clutching my pearls. Okay. This person is hiding their eyes. That's the window to their soul. They're also hiding um, their crown chakra, which is the highest intuitive chakra. There's a lack of intelligence in this energy. And this is an ankh here. That's the mother and the father coming together. Spirit is acknowledging at the end of the day, there will be karma um, around this soul tie, around this karmic bond, around someone putting something into the energy, into the atmosphere to keep and or control someone. And you can, if it's not a part of their righteous path, they will go away. There's nothing that you can do. Thank you, Spirit. There's nothing that you can do. There's nothing that you can do. It is not a part of their righteous path. As hard as you're fighting, to, to keep these energies together thank you spirit there there are there are angels they're sending masters that are working the opposite do you understand what i'm saying you cannot control someone okay you do have the pleading man but there's also this energy that you're free to go whatever you want to do i want to do you want to go go you want to stay stay like that's it there is a time stamp on this romance. It is not going to be forever because Spirit said these are star-crossed lovers, sending them love, love and light. This is karmic debt, sending them love and light. They are lovers and friends. But the tower moment is coming and people been talking about it. People been whispering about it. With the three witches, we do get the full moon again. There's a manifestation. What you do in the dark comes to the light. There's something that is trying to be suppressed but is going to come to the surface regardless. And there could be a pregnancy. He's been looking at other people anyway because he has unfinished business with them and it leaves you crying holding your heart at night but y'all's relationship spirit is just acknowledging was a sexual healing this situation has to do with the brouhaha and i've been saying that um sending her love and light the aftermath of this relationship is fuck love and you will be bandaging your heart sending you love and light now remember this reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes you do with the information what you choose all right keisha anderson current energy Thank you. We do get the oracle. You already know. Stop second and third guessing your intuition. Spirit said you already know. And Spirit said it's on the bottom of the deck. What do we already know? That she's a fashion witch. Okay, she's into the tarot cards. She's into the tarot. She's into magic. She's into the candles. Uh, she needs to be aware that the all seeing eye sees her. The all seeing eye, the all knowing eye sees her. She's into the crystal. She's into it. And I've said that um, in a lot of my readings on her, that's her business. But uh, just know when you put out negative intentions on people, it comes back to bite you in the ass. You get what you want up front. But on the back end, karma is a. And karma knows exactly who to serve karma to. Okay. Spirit said you can dress the part. But if you claim to be a witch and your practice lacks morality, you, my darling, are not a witch, but just a muggle in chic disguise. Keisha Anderson. Keisha Anderson, current energy. What's the tea? Nightmares, dealing with nightmares, insomnia, anxiety, unable to sleep, sees things under eye bags. Spirit is also subconsciously saying because she ain't shit, ain't shit. Spirit is also acknowledging that she has a bad reputation, that she fishes for comments, that there's a third party love triangle that she's caught up in, that she's dodging bullets around this situation when being a third party, third wheel. Spirit is also acknowledging that she fake flexes, that she's carless, so there could be an issue with her moving forward in regards to direction or there could be an actual issue with her car. There's an issue, an energy of her moving, an energy of her being fed up, doesn't want to hear it anymore. And what does she not want to hear? She doesn't want to hear how somebody is traveling to meet up with someone and that this person is a broke ass, sends her into a space of confusion. But she's always got love on the brain. Very, very, very obsessed around this energy. Not my business, not my problem. Always kissing ass in this regards to having this person on the brain and fakes smiles 
fake smiles. Oh, so you're really not happy. Um, Spirit is also acknowledging that she's extra triggered right now behind this person always partying, always hustling, always talking shit. Screenshots, evidence, proof, and facts about the scarcity um, and tactics that she does. Someone is aware of it and it is creating a girl fight. She's acting unbothered, Spirit is acknowledging. But what she really has is karmic friends that tell her business, be careful who you trust because there's secret competition here as well. See, uh, sending her love and light. I say to the ancestors, I say to the universe. In regards to love and light, what does she need to do to move in love and light? the chest it just keeps talking about the chest the heart the chest anxiety panting um pay attention there's some trauma there air is um energy is on this card also water wear your heart on your sleeve let yourself be fully be seen fully in this relationship vulnerability is the most courageous act when we hide behind masks and charades we do not allow love to come to our aid this card calls on you to share your feelings thoughts and desires as honestly as you can and trust your pure intentions will be matched be authentic be authentic be vulnerable stop hiding behind masks and charades that's what this card says sending her love and light keisha anderson spirit said deep freeze Twenty six is significant. <laughs> Everything has its season. Now is the time to put activity on hold while you rest. The cold winter be beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. It's time for regeneration and hibernation. Forego ambitions activity. A pregnant pause allows ideas to gestate, projects to shift and change, and relationships to go through a dreamy state of being, not going anywhere, not needing to. This is also a time to put all of your arguments on ice. Nothing beneficial will come from any of them. Self-care is the most important activity right now. So reflect, read a good book or get a massage, rest and dream. All right. Keisha Anderson sending her love and light. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Spirit is acknowledging that she's focusing on prosperity with the Ace of Pentacles, um, a financial new beginning, new financial opportunities, a new job, new business, money, investment, saving, prosperity, manifestations. Spirit is also acknowledging that she's budgeting in this energy as well. All earth sign energy letting me know that she is a nonconformist when it comes to her money and when it comes to getting grounded. She's holding on to people and possessions and issues. She does have some deep-seated and past issues that are surfacing. She's dealing with hoarding and stinginess, control, possessiveness, financial stability, financial security, saving for a big purchase or retirement, greed, materialism, and wealth. Spirit is also acknowledging in the middle of the deck what we can't see is she's she feels very fulfilled at this moment, but her arms are crossed at her solar plexus energy and also at her heart chakra, so there's some blockages there. Spirit is also acknowledging that she feels like her wishes have come true, that she is positive, she's optimistic, she's satisfied, she feels very successful, she feels like she's receiving a lot of war, uh, awards, that she has high self esteem what is her biggest obstacle thank you spirit i read biggest obstacle in reverse with this deck um hesitant missed opportunities wasted talent and potential infertility is an obstacle with the ace of wands also with um this card that just came out budgeting an obstacle is shedding the old letting go of people possessions or issues so she's unable to do those things generosity sharing greed unwarranted fear of poverty are also obstacles and in the middle of the deck with the knight of wands in reverse arrogance is an obstacle recklessness hyperactivity is an obstacle uh, being a daredevil overly confident loud showing off as an obstacle one who promises much but does not deliver is also an obstacle for her again with the knight of wands in reverse what's next for keisha anderson thank you 
transition. I see water again, letting me know that this could be a water sign and or could be emotional, but there's this energy of moving on even though you don't want to, okay? So that you can have a, a clear con like a, a clear sense of, of it within the mind so that you can stop troubling yourself, troubling and, and moving in like erratic thoughts, like moving on so that you can think clearly, healing progress moving on moving forward things calming down a uh, calm after the storm overcoming hardship relief stability escaping running away even um traveling traveling overseas going on a holiday also feeling very deflated with the page of pentacles in reverse there's some bad news and this is why she's moving on this is why she's moving away this is why she's trying to get away um and this could be physically or this could be mentally but there's some bad news in earthly matters and this is in the area of her getting grounded but also in the area of finances money problems, ignorance, someone who does not appreciate you. And in the middle of the deck, again, Spirit is acknowledging that she will be seeking in the middle of the deck when she moves forward, security, stability, abundance, putting out some manifestations, focusing on a new job, new business, new opportunities. This reading is alleged and for entertainment purposes. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.